Hello guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Pool season is just around the corner and things can get a little crazy, especially after having a few drinks. To keep things under control, I'm in need of some pool rules. I don't want just any free printed pool rules. I want to make my own. A few years ago, I worked on bamboo cutting boards. Those cutting boards, I used resin and cover them to make it resemble ocean waves. This gave me the idea to make an eight foot tall surfboard. The surfboard is made out of lumber. As a special touch, I'm using the real sand I had collected in one of my beach trips. The rules are cut with a vinyl cutter and the board is fully covered with resin. So, lass uns anfangen. I started by going through my wood pile to find some cheap pieces of wood. This pieces of lumber I had purchased from Home Depot a while back. They were about $1.50 per board. Initially I will glue up the board in two different pieces so it can fit it through the planner. Use a pencil to mark the location for the biscuit jointer. The lumber is 8 feet long, therefore I will cut 4 slots in each piece. Once you got all the pieces marked, Use a biscuit jointer, line them up with the mark and start cutting. Once the first slot is cut, make sure to dry fit the biscuit to make sure you cut the appropriate size. Now cut the rest of the slots. For the glue up, use as many clamps as you have. The more, the merrier. I'm using Tight Bond 2 Premium Wood Glue. Use a generous amount of glue and use a rubber brush to spread it. Make sure you add glue into the biscuit joints as well before you insert the biscuits. Match the biscuit with the slot and squeeze the boards together tightly. Repeat those steps with the rest of the boards. First apply the glue, then use the rubber brush to spread the glue. Insert the biscuits into the slots and line the boards up to make a match together. Tighten all of the clamps and then let the board dry. Add additional clamps on top. Do the same with the other board. It's the next day and it's time to undo the clamps and run the board through the planner. Run both sides of the surfboard through the planner multiple times until they even and have the same thickness. Now it's time to glue both of the sides of the surfboard together to make it one big board. Like in previous steps, use glue, biscuits and then tighten the clamps. Let it dry overnight. It's the next day and the glue has fully dried. It's time to take a sander to rough sand the surface. I'm using a pencil, a ruler and a measuring tape to draw on the outline of the surfboard. This pencil line will be the line I follow with the star to cut out the pattern of the surfboard. It is somewhat important to have both sides of the surfboard be identical, otherwise you have a really odd looking surfboard. So take your time drawing on the pattern. My jigsaw has a built in laser, so it's easy to follow the line. While this saw is very convenient to have, it's not necessarily my favorite tool. I'm using some really cheap wood, so I had to go super slow to make sure the edges don't tear out. To round over the edges, the easiest way is to use a router bit, but you can also use the sander if you don't have one. Alright, the board is all sanded and ready to go. Let's go up into the crafts room. Now the fun part begins. It's time to cover the wooden surfboard with resin. The first step is to cover the surface with an acrylic color to avoid the wood from shining through the resin. I will be using a beige color for the sand and for the ocean I want a green lagoon color, therefore I will mix it with blue and yellow. Once the acrylic color has dried, it's time to apply the resin. I will be using Total Boat resin. As for the pigments, Total Boat offers a variety of colors. The top of the surfboard will be clear, mixed with sand. And for the ocean, I will use green, white, and maybe some black pigments. I will also use black diamond mica powder and emerald green. So let's start by painting the surface. 
Once you apply the acrylic color, let it dry. Once it's dry, it's time to mix the resin, which means it's time for the resin dance. Alright, let's get back to the project before the resin starts curing in the cup. Use the sand and mix it with some clear resin. If the sand is too dark for your liking, you can add a few drops of white color. Mix it one more time and then spread the sand onto the surfboard. I use the mixing stick and my hands to spread the sand out evenly. And of course I didn't mix enough for the first time, so I had to mix a second batch. You want a layer of resin and sand evenly spread. Also make sure to not leave any empty spots anywhere. Use the heat gun to pop any bubbles. For the ocean I mix different colors. I use the white, a dark green and a lighter green. For the bottom of the board I want the white to be on the bottom of the green. Therefore apply the white first and then use the green color and put it on top. The closer I get to the top of the board or as to say the closer I get to the sand, I want the white on top of the green. Therefore I apply the green first and then put the white on top. I think this way I get the most interesting look. Like always, use the heat gun to pop any bubbles and blend in the colors. The first layer has finished. As you can see, the white is on the bottom of the green on the bottom, and then the closer you get to the sand, the white is more on top. That gives a more realistic look for the waves. I'm using my Cricut to design and cut the vinyl lettering. I use different greens and blues to have a unified look with the ocean water. Use transfer paper to apply the vinyl stickers onto the surfboard. Pull off the back of the vinyl sticker, turn the transfer paper around, stick it to the surfboard and then pull off the transfer paper. Follow the same steps for the additional vinyl stickers. The vinyl is rated for outdoors, however to make sure that the stickers will last forever, I will pour a clear coat of resin on top of it. That means resin dance! Okay, okay, that should be enough. For the top part, I just want to do one clear coat. For the bottom, the ocean side, I want to do multiple coats. Going this extra steps and getting multiple layers of resin built up will give you a more realistic ocean. Mix white into the resin and pour it along a line where you want the end of the wave to be. Use a heat gun to spread the white into the clear resin to get foamy waves. This is how the second layer looks like once it's dried. I will add two more layers just like this. Adding these layers gives the wave a 3D look, which makes the ocean look so much more realistic. This is the piece of lumber covered in acrylic color I will attach the pool rule sticker to. Once it's dry, attach the sticker and then cover it with resin. Once the resin has dried, attach that board to the surfboard by using a screw. And we are fertig! Looks like I'm all ready to go for pool season now. The summer can come! Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like, comment and subscribe. See you soon. Tschüss.